On our wonderful day in the Lord broadcast today, we're going to talk about a question that's been sent in concerning uh, where did Jesus go between uh, his death and the time of his resurrection? Someone has written in and said this, and this is this precipitates the question. In the Apostles' Creed is recited that he descended into hell. Uh, some versions say he descended into, into to the dead. Why would the creed recite that when it's clear in Scripture he tells the thief on the cross that he would be with him in paradise? Uh, so what is the actual teaching? So the question is this, did, did Jesus actually uh, go into hell uh, between uh, the time of his death and before he was resurrected? Uh, and uh, and where is he now? So those are, those are the questions. Now remember the creeds, such as the Apostle Creed, uh, have some uh, truth, a lot of truth in them, and we would agree with almost everything that those uh, of old creeds, what they call the ecumenical creeds, the creeds that, that the church uh, pretty much universally have accepted, but they are not scripture. And the creeds must never set over top of scripture. They must never inform scripture. Scripture informs the creeds. So while we would agree with almost everything the Apostle Creed says, we would disagree with what this seems to be saying here. So let's think about it for a moment. First of all, the, in the Old Testament, uh, the, the dead, the, the spirits of the dead, went into what was known as Sheol. That was the word for the grave or, or, or Sheol. And in the New Testament, that word is, is usually uh, interpreted or, or translated as Hades. Now, we might think that Hades and hell are the exact same thing, but uh, we, we want to make a distinction between that. Ultimately, uh, we find in Re Revelation chapter 20 that Hades itself, which is the abode of the, of the dead, I'm going to take a look at that in a moment, will be cast into the lake of fire. That's the eternal place of punishment for the lost. But let's back up for a few moments. Uh, prior to the uh, ascension of Christ, it would appear that uh, there, there was this uh, place of the dead, Sheol, or Hades, that had two compartments. On the one side of that compartment, there was the uh, the, the place where the, the lost went, the, those under judgment. They would go there. But the other side was known either, either as Abraham's bosom or paradise. There's two particular passages of Scripture that uh, help us here on this subject. Uh, one of those passages in Luke chapter uh, 16, verse 22 Lazarus and the rich man, Jesus said, Now it happened that the poor man died and he was carried away by the angels to Abraham's bosom. And the rich man also died and was buried. And in Hades he lifted up his eyes, being in torment. So we find that at the point of death, the spirit, the soul of Lazarus, the righteous man, went to paradise, or Abraham, what he calls here Abraham's bosom. On the other hand, the, the lost man, uh, the rich man, went to uh, the Hades, and he was in torment there. Later on in the book of Luke, chapter 23, uh, we find that Jesus is on the cross at this time with the thieves. And in verse 43, uh, he says to the one thief who repented of his sin and turned to the Lord, he said, truly, truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. So this is another name for Abraham's bosom. This was the side of the of Hades that was uh, uh, for the for the believers. It wasn't heaven. They didn't go into the presence of God Himself at this point, but they went to this place known as paradise. Later on, however, after, apparently Jesus did go to paradise uh, and perhaps was there. We, we're not given a lot of information that perhaps perhaps was there for. The, the uh, three days prior to his uh, ascension. But in Ephesians chapter 3, uh, that we want to go to chapter 4 actually, verses 8 to 10, uh, we have an interesting passage of Scripture here where it says, chapter 4, verse 8, it says this, Therefore it says, When he ascended on high, he led captive a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. Now this expression, he ascended, what does it mean except he also descended into the lower parts of the earth? He who had descended is himself also he who ascended far above the heavens so that he might uh, fill all things. So we believe that at the ascension of Christ, he took the captives uh, who were in paradise, the believers, and, they, and took them into the presence of God in heaven. So that now uh, he is there in heaven at the right hand of the Father. Scripture teaches that often. And so are the righteous of the Old Testament, it would appear.
But we do know this in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 6. It says this, Therefore, being always of good courage and knowing that while we are at home in the body, we're absent from the Lord. Now, this speaks of the New Testament Christian. And it tells us that when we're in this body, we're not in, his, in God's presence. But when we pass away, uh, we go to be with him and we will be at home with the Lord at that time. And so that tells us that we go immediately into the presence of the Lord. And where is the Lord? He is in heaven at the right hand of the Father. And so all the saints, I believe, are now uh, because of the, of the atoning blood of Jesus Christ, are now at the right uh, in heaven with Jesus Christ and the Father. And Christ himself never went into hell, but he went to paradise and he brought the saints with him at the ascension into heaven. Uh, we think this is what uh, the picture is, is like, is what is taught in Scripture. So I hope that is helpful to those who are thinking about this.